Ever since HBO put out Santa Inc.'s first trailer, there's been major backlash to this show. People are furious they took something as wholesome as Christmas and twisted it to push identity politics, and the actors behind it have of course attacked people simply for disliking it. HBO thought that this show was going to go over well with viewers, even though it's a show making fun of Christmas, but the outrage surrounding it has only gotten worse over the past few days since its official release, and now it's one of the lowest rated shows on IMDb. I have a couple of different things that I want to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted, and if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or supporting via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description, and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So as you can see, this is the official trailer on YouTube for Santa Inc. Now it is currently sitting at 717,000 views. That's quite a lot of views, especially because the trailer's been up less than two weeks. But the like to dislike ratio is hilarious. It's sitting at 3.6k likes, which is terrible for 700,000 views and 140 thousand dislikes. Now, you'd think with all the backlash this show's been facing, if there were people who wanted to support it, and Sarah Silverman and Seth Rogen, or saw it and liked it, they'd go to YouTube and give the trailer a like, or leave a review on Rotten Tomatoes, yet no one's showing up to do that. And of course, um, just a couple of days ago, three days ago, HBO Max put out another small Christmas special with Seth Rogan and Sarah Silverman. It's titled Santa Inc. A Christmas Special Tree Lighting. And this also is getting ratioed to hell and back. It's got 152 likes. They couldn't even get a thousand likes on this. And it's got 8.9k dislikes. The people have clearly spoken. There are a lot of people out there who do not like these specials, that do not like Seth Rogen, uh, Sarah Silverman, Santa Inc. in general. And of course, uh, the Rotten Tomatoes score hasn't gotten any better. The last time I talked about it, it was at a 3%, and it dropped to a 2%, but it did go back up to a 3%. This is just sitting at a completely awful score. You would think maybe it would be sitting at a 25 to a 30% if people really disliked it, but it's sitting at a 3%, and oddly enough, there's still no uh, critic review or critic rating for this show. There are two critic reviews that have been left on Santa Inc. here on Rotten Tomatoes, but that's it. There's not enough ratings to calculate a score, it says. Um, it says the current ratings are zero, but that's very odd because usually by now, the show's been out a week, there'd be more reviews from critics. We'd actually have a critic score here, but we don't still. Now, if you haven't seen my previous video on Santa Inc., it will be linked in the description, but Santa Inc. is about wanting to destroy the all-white Christmas patriarchy, which is a terrible plot for a show. I think that people would like it more if it followed the general theme of a Christmas show and had some lighthearted elements and maybe it took a few jabs at Christmas and if it overall was focused on comedy, but this series wasn't created to be funny. It was clearly created to shove as many narratives in people's faces as possible, and that that's why it's gonna fail, that's why people are not showing up to watch it, and that's why it's got a 3% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. But it's not just a bad show, because there's a lot of bad programs on TV, but this one apparently is one of the worst rated shows on IMDb now. If we head on over to IMDb, it's sitting at a 1.1 out of 10, with 5.6k user reviews. This show is getting absolutely uh, tanked in ratings right now. No one seems to like this show. It's a disaster, but I also wanted to show off this article. It says, new Seth Rogen and Sarah Silverman show Santa Inc. is the lowest rated TV series ever. This is hilarious. I'm just going to be honest. We've seen a lot of bad shows release over the years, but this one truly just takes the cake. 
It says Santa Inc., a new HBO Max series released on December 2nd, has quickly become the lowest rated TV show ever on IMDb. The show, which features stop motion animation, stars Seth Rogen as Santa Claus and Sarah Silverman as a female elf who wants to become the next Santa. Now, this actually doesn't sound that bad of a plot. There's a female elf who wants to try to become the next Santa, and maybe she has to go through a bunch of hoops. She's trying to copy everything Santa's doing, but it's done in a more quirky, weird way. I think that that wouldn't have been that bad, but the problem is the narratives they pushed into the show. Oh, we just want to destroy the all-white male Christmas patriarchy, you know? We just, we need to destroy Santa and destroy the white men running the North Pole. That's the problem with this show, because people would like um, a more adult- focused Christmas series to watch. I do genuinely think that people would show up to watch that, but the way they handled it in this series wasn't done for comedic value. It was done to make statements. It says, according to a list of the lowest rated TV shows prepared by IMDb, um, it says a Hungarian show actually holds the top spot with a rating of 1.4 out of 10, and Santa Inc. currently has a rating of 1.1 out of 10, making it one of IMDb's new worst rated shows ever. Now, uh, it says the show's audience score on Rotten Tomatoes is presently 3%, like I showed. No one seems to like this series, and it's completely understandable why. You've got a terrible plot, you've got people behind it that cannot accept the fact that people simply don't like the show. And I did mention this in my previous video, but Seth Rogen has decided to go and attack anyone who doesn't like this series. Instead of just accepting the fact that the plot really isn't sticking with people, the comedy's falling flat. No, no, he decided to double down on Santa Inc. and attack people simply for not liking the series. It says uh, anti-white activist Seth Rogen brags about telling people to go F themselves as he calls critics of Santa Inc. white supremacists. This is absolutely disgusting. It's completely okay to say I'm really disappointed people don't like my series. I'm disappointed that no one saw the comedy that we did while we created it. But to go and call people this simply for not liking a show is fucking disgusting. Scrolling down, it says, now he is describing critics of his HBO Max animated series as supremacists following the trailer for the series showing an elf voiced by Sarah Silverman uh, named Candy livid that Santa Claus is white. Um, another elf tells Candy, but the position of Santa has mostly been a white man's game, and she responds, exactly, it's effing crazy, things have gotta change. Then in a strategy session for her move to become Santa, another character named Devin tells Candy, let's go over what we know, Santa and the board are all white and all men. I mean, she's planning to coup Santa Claus here, because he's white, and because he's a man. I mean, seriously. Rogan would describe many of those critics as supremacists, and he took to Twitter to absolutely attack anyone that he can. And of course, that post is being ratioed and has been ratioed. Um, there's thousands upon thousands of people leaving memes, leaving comments, saying, get over yourself, Seth Rogan. People don't like your series because it's just a bad series, not because people don't like you. And I also think it's really important to point out the fact that ever since Seth Rogan put up this tweet talking about how they pissed off tens of thousands of supremacists with Santa Inc. He hasn't made a tweet. He hasn't made a tweet in days. He has gone completely into hiding because he sees the ratios that he's receiving. He sees the backlash that he's facing over the show, but also his own statements. I just think that this is really funny because you think if he was really proud of his content and he was really, you know, feeling confident in this show, he wouldn't be suddenly silent on social media. I used to really like Seth Rogen. I used to like a lot of his comedy, the statements that he'd put on social media, but unfortunately, he's become a massive SJW and he makes tweets like these. I'm gonna be honest, Santa Inc. would be facing so much less backlash right now if he hadn't made this tweet attacking people for simply not liking the series. But people are commenting things like, idiotic statement, oh wow, so many triggered people. Somebody said um, that meme with the guy standing in the corner at the party. 
The next tweet has almost 15,000 likes and it says, have you considered the audience rating isn't based on white supremacy and that maybe it's actually just not that good? And it's so true. These actors and also producers and directors in Hollywood can't accept the fact that people don't like content they're making. No, no, they have to try to find another way to twist the story to say, oh, people are attacking us because of X, Y, and Z. They just can't accept the fact that their content isn't that good. Uh, Sarah Silverman also put out a tweet with a clip from the YouTube video I showed at the beginning, uh, HBO Max's Christmas special with the both of them, and people are commenting things like the ratio, saying shalom, 500 likes, 3.4k likes to 130 thousand dislikes this is an absolutely hilarious situation to see happen because they are attacking people on social media because we simply don't like their series and they're getting ratioed to hell and back i'm sure that we're going to continue to see the ratings for this show go down honestly though i don't know how much lower they can go it's sitting at a three percent on Rotten tomatoes and of course the imdb is at a 1.1 I guess we'll have to see if the ratings continue to drop, but that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.